My precious honey. My precious, lovely, beautiful, amazing wife. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're saying thank you because I've used those words. Yeah, it's so good. Ah, <laughs> nice. So we eat uh, words as ladies. That's so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of men need to learn that. You need mm -hmm. to learn that women cannot have enough of sweet words, mm -hmm. beautiful words. You see, words can build. Yeah. They can also destroy. You know, the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the tongue can build, the tongue can also destroy. Mm -hmm. So we as men who God has created and given the privilege to lead the families, mm -hmm. we need to use words that build all the time. Even when things are wrong, build up, mm -hmm. okay? Lovely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Honey, Talk is, to me. is it possible for men and women to be friends mm -hmm. without them sleeping with each other? Uh -huh. Now, the church has uh, propagated this statement for such a long time that a man cannot be friends with a woman without sleeping with a woman or without getting romantically involved with a woman. The problem is not the romance, the problem is not the sex, the problem is that you have not trained people on self control. So you, the church, and you, the leader, you're the one who's failed your people so much so that you don't trust them with each other. You see, lack of trust simply means the person doesn't have the knowledge and the skill to handle the thing. Mm -hmm. If you give a child a car, mm -hmm. even if the child is your child that you love, you will not trust them to drive it yeah. because they've not been trained on how to handle a car. Mm -hmm. If we train people on the different types of love, mm -hmm. then it's possible for a man and a woman to be friends even best friends. Mm. What are these different types of love? We have them on our Facebook page. Yeah. Look, the love between a husband and a wife is called agape. Mm. The husband sacrificing for the wife. Mm. The love a woman has for the husband is called philandros. It is her loving the husband with her body, with her sexuality. It's the one that leads to sexual intercourse. Mm. So if a man and a woman are involved in agape, the man is doing agape and the woman is doing philandros, it will lead to sex. So this is just lack of information. Yeah. Now, how should a woman love a man who she's not married to? The Bible calls it Philadelphia. Mm. Let brotherly love continue. So she's even instructed by the Spirit of God to love the man. Yeah. But the love has been defined as Philadelphos, brotherly love. Mm. It is the love that Paul talks about when he says in uh, Titus yeah. chapter 2. He says that the younger women, the older women should teach the younger women to philandros their husbands. Yeah. You see, to sexually relate to their husband. Philandros. Yes, yes. And to philotechnos their children. Mm -hmm. The love that is akin to nursing, to nurse their children. Mm -hmm. And to be sober. You see, it's the older women that should teach you, young women who are now become drunkard, to be sober. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you see? Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible also says that they should know how to handle things at home. Mm. Then later, Paul instructs and says that treat the older women as your mothers yeah. and the younger yeah. women as your sisters. Yeah. So sister to brother love is what we call Philadelphia. Yeah. So you can be best friends under Philadelphia. Yeah. The sister to brotherly love. Mm -hmm. The younger women as our daughters. Mm -hmm. So we feel all technos them. Mm -hmm. We nurse them the way we would our own daughter. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll start saying that a daughter cannot be close to her father because of those silly fears that people have. Yeah. You only have fears when you have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. This kashak, which is a physical attraction, yeah. a crush, yeah. or infatuation, it can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. But that should not be the bedrock or the foundation of any relationship. Yeah. I have an elaborate teaching on that. Please look it up. Even a video. Yeah. I think more than one hour just talking about the yeah. different types of love. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So, hashak mm. is when I look at you and I'm physically attracted to you. Mm. It's mostly based on how you look, your beauty, yeah. your physical features. But it's not foundational. It's mm. a good starting point for a relationship between husband and wife if they want to get married, that is. Yeah. But if you get into hashak with somebody, mm -hmm. then don't follow it seriously. If you ignore it, it will just go away. If you don't feed it, yeah. it will go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then there are many other types of love we've talked about. Yeah. You see, there's phila, philagathos, mm -hmm. as in lover of good men. 
Have you noticed that a lot of women like the bad boy? That's what gives them a kick. That's the one they're excited about. That's the one they want to spend time with. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says you need to do, well, agathos, mm -hmm. lover of good men. Mm -hmm. Only love men who are good, but you're bored of good men because they don't give you a kick. You want drugs. Mm -hmm. You want a high. Mm -hmm. You want that hormone, what is it called? Adrenaline. Mm -hmm. To always be pumped into your blood so that you feel this high. But the trouble with feeling high mm -hmm. is that you develop tolerance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that high will not be high enough. Yeah. Then you end up in sexual perversion. So love is not enough for you. The reason you don't feel the love of a good man is because he's not giving you a kick. Mm -hmm. Because you already have risen to a level where you are tolerant to the hormones of love. Yeah. So you want something perverted mm -hmm. to excite you. Mm -hmm. And it will go on and on until it leads to your death. Mm -hmm. That's how people, when they start drinking, one glass, two glasses are enough. Before you know it, it's a whole bottle. That's one bottle is not moving yet. Because of what? Tolerance. Mm -hmm. Their tolerance goes up. Then they start doing two bottles, then three bottles. Before you know it, they are an alcoholic. Before you know it, it's killing them. It's messing up with their liver. Mm -hmm. The idea is the devil wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you need to be a person who is easy to entreat. Don't make it difficult to be pleased. Mm -hmm. So it's possible to relate to the opposite sex mm -hmm. if you define the type of love that you're exchanging with each other. Yeah. If you want to have sex with somebody, then develop the philandros. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. The Bible says, let the woman ravish you with her breasts. Mm -hmm. You see, let her breasts satisfy you. That means they are shown to you, mm -hmm. to satisfy mm -hmm. you. Yeah. You get that. 